All right, it's that time of year again. Uh, I've, we've just been out here in the van, just getting things sorted, and I just catch up with everyone just to go, what do you guys do for your pre-checks before you go out for a um, bit of a two-week holiday, three-week holiday, whatever it may be after Christmas or during Christmas. Um, I know we're leaving Boxing Day. Uh, we're going away for two weeks. Uh, at this stage and I just want to go through the the pre-checks for you so a um, couple of things we do we Christmas we got family coming around so we actually have our chairs and tables out because we use them because we we got a big family so we pull them out so make sure you put your chairs in make sure you put your chairs the table in um, I've got a the the old blower so that's good we use it all the time um, I think it's really good we blow the leaves out from under the awning uh, and things like that. So uh, make sure you put that back in if you take one. I've got my stool, my navigator stool there. Uh, it's fantastic. So make sure you put that back in. So all this stuff we're just putting here to put back in after Christmas. So make sure if you're ha having Christmas at home and then you're traveling off like we are, we always make sure that this is going back in. A couple of other little pre-checks. It depends where you're going as well. Um, if you're going to a caravan park and you need your, your lead, make sure you put your lead in, okay? Um, put that back in. If, you, if you've been storing your van, um, look, we're pretty lucky. We've got a big shed here. We store our, our, our leader in. And um, before we go, I've done it once, only once, um, make sure you unplug it. So I had the water, I had the power plugged in, we took off and it just made a hell of a mess. So make sure you unplug it. Uh, but yeah, unplug it, make sure you put your power lead back in. Again, we're doing a bit of free camping. Uh, we've got a generator box on the front. Uh, make sure you've got fuel, got the jerry can in the front here. Uh, make sure you've got fuel for your jerry can. They're just a couple of other little things um, that we do check. Uh, also, if you've been away, if you've been away and you've come back, you've put your van away, we, and you've used gas, uh, make sure you check your gas bottles. Uh, they could be empty. Um, I know that um, we went away once and um, Loretta did tell me that the gas bottles were empty and I said, no, no, they're sweet, they're all good. Um, but sure enough, they were empty. Um, so we, we had to fill up and it just, I forget where we were. We were somewhere up near Darwin. They cost us like 50 bucks a, a gas bottle. Um, but make sure you fill your gas up before you go as well. They're just a couple of little checks that we do. Um, they're the easy checks. So just come on down the back here, Loretta. A um, couple of other little things what we do uh, as well, or what I do. I just, if it has been stored for a while, we, I check the wheel nuts. I've got my trusty old breaker bar here, which I, I just go around and I make sure all the wheel nuts, uh, all four tyres, are nice and tight. Um, I also check the tyre pressures after they've been sitting here for a while. So I check the tyre pressures, make sure it's all good um, and before we go away. Also, one thing is this, the spare tyre. So don't forget about your spare. Uh, we've got a, a crash pad uh, bag on the back of it. Um, but don't neglect by checking your spare. So always check your spare. Uh, it's really important that you do that because if you do have a blowout and that tire is not right, uh, then you're in a bit of world of hurt. Uh, so make sure you check your spare. That's, that's really important. A um, couple of other little things in, in the van. Come on, Loretta. Come on down. Let's go in the van. I always make sure the fridge is on a couple of days beforehand, um, at least a, a couple of days, just to get that fridge uh, down to temp, uh, and then that way that we can, um, you know, start to uh, put stuff in the fridge. We do have a bit of shopping as well, so we pack the pantries, um, the pantry up here, we got one up here, a bit up here as well. Um, we pack the heavy items, cans, cold drinks, um, sort of down low as well. So down low, we, we pack them down there. But one really important thing is, after you finish packing your gros groceries away, make sure the cupboards are closed properly, all right? There's nothing worse 
If you've got a jar of beetroot, I don't know, could be anything, pickled onions, leftovers from, from uh, Christmas, whatever it is, if you've got it there and it comes out on the floor, it smashes, spills everywhere. It's the last thing you want to do is start cleaning up when you, uh, when you first arrive at, at your campsite. So just make sure you go around, I go around, just give each cupboard a bit of a rattle, make sure Make sure it's a bit of light, that always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, make sure that they're all closed, all right? So that's one thing that we do. Just before you take off, um, we've got separate jobs. I normally do the outside of the van. Go around, do a walk around around the van. Make sure everything is done outside. Make sure the awning is locked into place. Uh, make sure the toe hitch is right, making sure that everything's put away, making sure the legs are up. Uh, Loretta does the inside. Um, so just the little things when packing a van. We, the TV, it doesn't travel up here. Um, it travels on the bed. So I try and put it, or Loretta tries to put it, as far up the bed as possible, puts pillows on top. Then goes around and does all the hatches. Make sure the hatches are shut. So we got one uh, over the bed, we got one just at the door entry and we've got two in the bathroom. So make sure they're all closed. Um, and it's been done once, I've seen it done. I've seen many vans going down the freeway um, and the aerial's still up. Make sure you put your aerial down, people. Um, so put that aerial down, uh, which is, <laughs> that's really important. You don't want anything. If, if uh, people have got the Sirocco fans, um, they've all got a locking mechanism in them, so make sure that you put that back, uh, the fan back, and lock that into place. Uh, I think that's about it um, on all the checks. Windows, making sure windows are checked, uh, making sure they're closed. We travel, we were advised by Leader um, to travel with our blinds up. So it just takes the pressure off. Um, so off the the curtains and that, so make sure you travel with them up. Um, it's, you get a, a lot more time out of the uh, the curtains and that. Uh, don't forget, if you like what we're doing, uh, like and subscribe, uh, follow us on social media, things like that. So it uh, just encourages us to do a lot more. Uh, cheers guys, thanks for that. Uh, have a safe Christmas and we'll see you out on the road. Happy holidays and thanks for following us. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great New Year. Safe travels out there on the road and we'll see you next year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.